avatar if you don't shred? It doesn't make any sense, right? It, there's no reasonable person that doesn't shred. That does like clean ambient stuff. That would want a baritone, baritone guitar. It, 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 impractical. Expensive? Actually, it's not really that expensive. I think this guitar is only a couple hundred dollars. Um, sounds like trash though. Really awful. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's impractical. Very uninspiring, a baritone guitar. Especially if you're like just a singer-songwriter. Th there, there's no need. I, of course, am <laughs> playing, to toying around with a little bit of hyperboil. Uh, I like to do that every now and again. Um, because a baritone guitar can be very, very, very inspiring, even if you don't shred. And I might even say, especially if you don't shred. Um, because there's just something so magical about, especially when you're in the singer songwritery mood, and you just want to, like, put some ambient stuff on, and then just play some chords and sit in it and see where it leads you. And I think specifically, a low guitar matches so well with like your fancy pedal board because what does ambience and stuff do? It takes a note and just lets you sit in it, makes it a bit more interesting, just a single thing. Whereas a low sound, if you play it super fast, it gets mushy and disgusting. Whereas I can play a low chord. And just let it ring out. Let my pedals do a little bit of talking and let the bass low end of the guitar just sing. Say its thing, what it needs to sing. Then you get that great thing where you go up an octave and it's still not that low, but it sounds cool because you're up an octave. I have my fair share of guitars, um, but what I don't have is a baritone, and that's kind of a shame. I borrowed this one from my brother, and I've recorded a song on it before, Beauty Betrayed. Here's a, a, a clip of that. Um, I wrote it on a baritone guitar, and it's just one of those songs that's like, I don't remember it at all, but it was just pretty simple. Those are the chords, not in the right order. Um, and the baritone wrote that song. See, I always had it thought up that I'd take my Telecaster once I got my nice Strat and my uh, Washburn and my Duo Sonic and stuff. I'd be like, Telecaster sounds good low, so I'll just keep that in a baritone tuning and a B. Um, and then the other card guitars will be my other guitars. But the truth is that never happens. All my guitars are always in E flat standard. That's that's just how it always works. So having a guitar like this, it's just it's just magical to sit down and. Uh, riff a little bit. So it's the same thing for you, all you songwriters out there as, for instance, putting a capo on an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar when you're just trying to write a song. Because sometimes, like, all the chords... They become a little meaningless. Once you're in the same tuning. 
But if you just put a capo on capo six or something like that, suddenly that C chord is totally different and it tells you something different and you, you write a different song around it. Um, so many of the songs that I've written recently, especially on, you know, a capo, capo to tuning wouldn't have ever happened if I'd have played that song, even in the same key, just up. It, it, it just wouldn't have happened. And that's the same thing with the baritone. I, I wouldn't write what I wrote. This one, uh, the jack is a little messed up. Uh, uh, it is easily fixed. My brother's just not a, a handyman. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> I might have to uh, fix it for him in return for, uh, exchange for barring it. Side note, uh, Phoebe Bridgers of uh, Phoebe Bridgers fame uh, uses baritone guitars all the time in her just like a uh, singer songwriter y uh, alt indie style. Uh, there's obviously the famous failed attempt to uh, smash a Dan Electro um, uh, baritone. Uh, people, even like, like John Mark McMillan, who I uh, have always loved, um, he uses baritones quite a bit, especially on like the Borderlands record, which is um, a personal favorite of mine. Um, obviously, once you get into the heavier bit, like Manchester Orchestra uses baritones um, for a couple songs on the um, Simple Math record, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, it, it's along, it's the same lines as just alternate tunings that um, inspire you differently. Like the tallest man on earth will use um, alternate tunings just to do different things all the time. Uh, bon Iver uses alternate tunings, and I'm sure there's a song or two that he's picked up a baritone and toned, played down low. Um, so yeah, it just a little side note that I didn't mention earlier. <laughs> Anywho, that's just a little thought. I th uh, thought I'd, I'd share with you. If you're looking for an, a thing to inspire you, either take one of your electric guitars or acoustic guitars even. Um, I've got a, a, a old Yamaha that actually sounds really amazing in a baritone tuning in a B standard. I made a video about that, uh, which you can go watch after this. Um, and it will just inspire you. If you're just trying to write a new piece of music, um, try taking guitar and dropping it down a bit. Oh yeah, one more side note. The song I wrote uh, called Silly Little Dreams. Uh, well, not in a baritone tuning, it was in C sharp standard, and I did write that on my Telecaster. I recorded it both on the Telecaster and the Stratocaster. And yeah, it was, once again, just like a simple uh, thing that was, if it was in standard, would have just been like kind of A and uh, E, I'm pretty sure if I remember it correctly. But, and I'd, I would have never written that if it was in standard tuning, but because the sounds were different, the way the guitar felt different, I was able to take that simple little idea and turn it into like a beautiful song that I never would have done if it was in standard tuning. Um, so another case for trying out a different tuning. This one's a gorgeous Gretsch. Like I said, it's not that expensive. Um, or if you just have a Telecaster, some people don't know this, but a Telecaster, both me and my brother will agree, is the best like metal rock machine on earth. It's really just the best guitar ever made, if you ask me. This is just a Mexican Telecaster I got probably 10 years ago, and it's still up there with my favorite guitars I've ever owned. And guess what? You can tune this in standard. It's going to sound great. You can drop this down with tens to B, and if you're just like a little bit careful, it'll keep tuning it'll be intonated and it'll sound great and you can do magical stuff with it. So I'm not saying you need to go buy a baritone. You can totally do it with your normal guitars, um, even acoustic guitars, and that's that'll be inspiring, but it is nice to kind of have the extra range, um, extra stability, if you will, of a baritone, and it speaks to me differently, you know? Even this tuned to the same tuning as this, I don't get the same stuff. Anyways, rambling a bit. Um, thanks for watching this episode of State of Occurrence talks about things that was on his mind. So we turned the camera on and started recording. Uh, like, subscribe, all the things, listen to the music. Um, well, Where Are You is on Spotify and whatnot. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>